So in an effort to fight off drones and air attacks, the army is investing in a technology called Thor, which is, sounds like it's effectively an EMP beam. So, so far, Thor is a prototype technology weapon used to disable electronic drones specifically engineered to counter multiple drone attacks so these drone swarms you see in previous videos now i don't fully understand all the tech but the guy saying high energy lasers kill one target at a time high powered microwaves can kill multiple targets so you can take this thing in a cargo box storage container and either stick it on the ground or stick it inside of a plane and use this thing with microwaves to send down on a target. So whether it's stationary, it's hitting a drone attack or these drone swarms, or whether it's in the air, you can do quite a bit with this EMP technology. This thing is amazing. The system output is powerful radio wave bursts which offer greater engagement range than bullets or nets. I don't know what they'd use nets for. And its effects are silent, instantaneous. So think about this outside of drones. You can send a microwave in a big blast. So whether it be communications, drones, I'm assuming anything that's electronic, just wipe it out. What the range is, I don't know. Let's take a look at the company's website. So here's the company who manufactures this tactical high power operational responder, Thor. Thor is a counter swarm electromagnetic weapon the Air Force Research Laboratory developed for defense air bases. The system provides non-connect energy to defeat multiple targets, like was said earlier. It operates from a wall plug and uses energy to disable drones. So think about it. You can plug this thing in at your house, grab your ray gun, and knock out any drones or anything that's electronic, effectively, not just drones. Now, the part that's undisclosed here is what's the range of this thing? Is it a mile, two miles? They say it can defeat targets from long distances this thing is going to be very interesting how it's used because not just in drone tech that's the word they're talking about here but anything electronic this thing will stop in its tracks